What's up, Valverde Knights? The nightly news will start in 10 seconds. There is nothing wrong with your television cell. Do not attempt to adjust the picture. We are controlling the transmission. What's up, Valerie Knights? Today is Friday, April 15th. I'm Carlos. And I'm Alex. And welcome to the Nightly Newscast. On this week's show, we will share with you some news around the world. However, did you guys enjoy the movie we presented? Our school was chosen the top three in the United States for secondary school with Panasonic. Four students will be going to New York to participate in the award ceremony, as well as to have fun. So what do you think about New York? Oh man, I can't wait. It's very anticipating. Yeah, you're going, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, I am. All right, all right. Well, I'm not going, so. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, juniors, if you, have, if you want to have a chance to go to New York next year, don't forget to ask Mr. McCarrick that you want to be a part of Mr. Del Campo's movie class next year and be part of his filmmaking crew. Well, Knights, here are some fun fails that you may have not seen yet. Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to this week's Fails of the Week Volume 4. I'm your host, Carlos Morphin, and let's kick off the show. Yeah. Yeah. Apple juice time. I remember when in Soviet Russia, bass drop you. No, literally, that's the title of this club. <laughs> The technique to become a successful bungee jumper is to remain as calm as humanely possible. Let's play a game. Can you guess how many times this guy passes out? If your answer was 72, you are incorrect, but I'll give you credit for it because it was a pretty close answer. I know the Harlem Shake YouTube trend is very outdated nowadays, but this clip is just too good to let go. This isn't a fail, but look at how this guy smacks death right across the face. Well guys, that's the end of this week's Fails of the Week. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next week for Volume 5. That's it for real fun fails. And that's it. We're bringing you some world news. Let's go. What's up, Knights? The truth is still out there, according to CNN. The Hillary Clinton campaign chairman, John Podesta, has spoken out in the public and has stated that the first thing Clinton will do in her presidency, if elected, is to classify as many government files as she could, especially the ones in regards to unidentified flying objects. That's right, you heard it, UFOs. Well, if you've been living under a rock and you don't know what UFOs are, UFO sightings have become a worldwide phenomenon dating back all the way to 329 BC. One of the most famous UFO cases is in 1948, Roswell, the Roswell incident in Roswell, New Mexico. These UFOs are believed to be spaceships for creatures from another world. If Hillary Clinton becomes president and declassifies UFO files, those UFO conspiracy theorists will be finally put to rest. 
Well, Knights, that's it for today. See you next week. And as always, keep a lookout for those UFOs. Hey Knights, Miss Scar in the library wants to let you guys know that April 27th is the last day to check out books from the library. All library books are due by May 6th. So Miss Scott would also like you to know that many of you still have books and textbooks due from Rancho and Citrus High Schools. Miss Scott wants you to turn them into the library as well. Now here is ASB with some important news. Hi guys, it's Ashley from ASB. I want to thank everyone who bought their grad night tickets. We sold 95 of them. Also, don't forget to get, to get your prom tickets. They are $60 and that's coming up on April 30th. So also, don't forget to bring your guests. And juniors, in two weeks from now, get ready because you guys are going to be testing, taking your CAS test, and us seniors are going to be at home relaxing. So, wish you guys good luck with that, and I'll see you guys next week. Thank you, ASB. Now, Coach Vance states that March of Dimes is due on April 20th, so it's still not too late to give money and save a baby's life. Mr. McCarrick wants to tell you some information, so now here he is in person to tell you some important information. Good morning, Valverde High students. I have two announcements for you. For juniors, if you are interested in summer school or need summer school for next year, I will start calling you out in the next couple weeks to fill out paperwork to start in the summer. Now, first priority are juniors who need it for graduation next year, juniors who are trying to return back to Rancho or Citrus, and then after that, any other juniors that I can fit into the schedule. It's limited space. So first priority are juniors who need it for graduation next year at Valverde High. Now seniors, I got an exciting announcement for you. Look out for information from either myself, Ms. Cabara, or Mr. Vlastos about some special treats for students who have either filled out their FAFSA or applied to college or joined the military. If you have joined the military or applied for college, you get a cool t-shirt uh, that has Valverde High, I'm going to college. If you have filled out your FAFSA, you get a $10 gift card from your choice of a couple of different spots. If you have done both your FAFSA and got, uh, applied to college, we will uh, talk about a pizza party down the road at the end of the semester. So again, seniors, look out for that, and we will get, keep you posted on information on how to receive those items. Thank you guys, have a great day. Thank you, Mr. McCarrick. Now here is Barlow's with some more school news. Thanks, Alex. Once again, here's Coach Martin. And his name is Coach Martin! And then from there, you know, it'll be unbelievable what's happening with this. And then from, with the soccer team playing this week, they're going to have Bayside. And then, you know what? It's coming. And it's just going to be a great, great, great week for Valverde. We really wish for you guys to stay tuned and help out your at all times. All right. Now let's talk about what else is happening this weekend. In the mail, it's coming. Your progress reports. Seniors, you are going to find out this week if you have the potential to become a super senior. That's right. You, to be a super senior. I am super duper serial. We really wish for you guys to stay focused on your grades. Stay up on those grades. Progress reports will go home next week. Good luck with that. And again, Mr. Velastos is looking for a lot of you guys to come to summer school because he's going to be working, maybe. We're out of here. Again, progress reports this week. Stay focused on your grades. This is week five. It is over. Next week is week six. It's going fast. I told you guys, there's your warning. Stay focused on what you have to do. We're out of here. Was that fast enough? Thanks, Martin. With our newscast, we may as well be dead without you. Well, right now, Valverde High School and the Student Success Academy would like to recognize Mr. David McPhee for this week's National Assistant Principals Week. Mr. McPhee, thank you for your vision, inspiration, and leadership that makes you an extraordinary assistant principal. Congratulations. Now here's some important school information. 
Good morning, Val Verde High School Knights. What are we looking at? Like 30 days left of many of your public education experiences forever. Kaput, soon you will be off in the big, wide, cruel world and we wish you the best of luck. This message though is primarily for juniors. Juniors, you will be taking our CASP test on Tuesday and Thursday of next week and then the week after Tuesday and Thursday again. On those days, it will be minimum days. We will not have seniors here on those days. It will be minimum days for you. It will just be CASP testing. And you need to take the CASP test. And if you miss those days, we'll have makeup days for you and we'll get you because you got to take the test and we need to make sure that everyone takes the test. And one of the things that I'd like for you to begin working on emotionally preparing yourself for, because I know that we are all emotional beings, is that when you take the test on Tuesday and Thursday, now I'm not kidding when I say this, you are gonna have to put your cell phones in a Ziploc baggie, which will be labeled and watched while you are taking the test. It is a test security issue. When people take the bar, when people take the medical exam, when people take the SAT, when people take all sorts of tests in this world, they take their cell phones, they put them in Ziploc baggies, and this is what's gonna happen to you. So, when you feel yourself getting ready to get upset that someone is going to have to take your phone, if you're refusing, we'll search you, obviously, there's no way around this, when you feel yourself getting upset, just take a breath and understand this is part of life now. And one thing I would suggest you do is go home and get a Ziploc bag and actually practice putting your cell phone into it and zipping it up without having an emotional meltdown. That might come in handy for you. Also, we've been giving some of the Gatorades back at the end of the day. We're not doing that anymore. From now on, Gatorades are getting thrown away. The juice items are getting thrown away because we're tired of them and we have a good reason to ban them from campus and people traipsing around just no, just no. Go to Chevron, that's why God invented Chevron. All right, that's about it. Make it a great day or not, the choice is yours. Thank you, Mr. McPhee. Now Mrs. Armenta, the ROP pharmacy tech, stated that she will be enrolling this year's juniors who are interested in taking ROP class as seniors next year. The class is one year long and at the end of the class she will include 200 hours of class time and 120 hours of hands-on externship training. Students are eligible to apply for pharmacy technician license through California State Board of Pharmacy. Now here is our principal, Mr. Coelho. Good morning Val. Seven weeks to go, here we go. Actually, by the time you get this, it's only gonna be six weeks. Can you believe that? Seniors, it's less than that. Um, just want to let you guys know a couple things. One, CASP testing is right around the corner. It starts um, on Tuesday for you juniors. Seniors, you guys are gonna be home. You guys get a little break on uh, Tuesday and Thursday. You guys don't have to show up. But juniors, please show up. Here's the thing, if you don't do it on Tuesday or Thursday of next week, you will be back taking it again on makeup day. So you got to take it anyway. Might as well be here and do it on the day of the test. Um, a couple other things. Prom. That's right around the corner as well. Right at the end of this month in a couple weeks. Um, seniors, juniors, make sure you guys are um, ready to go. Behavior is a big thing. We're looking forward to having a good time, but uh, make sure you guys uh, maintain your behavior. And that goes across the board. Uh, the weather's changing. It's the end of the year. Kids' behaviors change. You guys get a little loose. Listen, guys, we got to go all the way to the end. If things happen, seniors, especially you guys with your senior activities, misbehave, you miss out. So make sure you guys behave well and um, you guys get those senior activities. And with that being said, I do want to congratulate, again, uh, Teen Vision for receiving the and going to New York for receiving the top three nom for their uh, video so good job on that hey, you guys! and I think that's it so happy Friday hope everyone's doing well and again by the time you get this six weeks almost there oh that's it for today's show I'm a smooth operator and my dad left me so stay safe and remember next week same night time same night candle we now return control of your television set to you until next week at the same time when the control voice will again take over.
Until then, please stand by.